What's up, nigger? What? Language. It's a powerful thing. It's constantly evolving and constantly growing. This is both an inevitability, a fact, and a problem. Uh, I brought up before that I think that arguing semantics as opposed to substance is fucking retarded, and I stand by that. Uh, and then I did a video that was a response, sort of following up talking about the way that words can be substantive and important, while not arguing simply semantics. And this is sort of a third follow-up uh, to that, just thinking about the what nature of words and the way they are used, and the understanding that people have of them. For instance, English is a living language, right? It's constantly evolving and changing. Slang and colloquialisms are constantly evolving, and the usage of words becomes different every day. But there can be problems that arise from such a thing as this. For instance, people don't know what each other is talking about a lot of the time. And, you know, people who have the dictionary, in like the people in control of making the dictionary, rather, have an agenda, as does everyone else. Hence why you'll see definitions of words words changed, right? It's newspeak type shit all over again. I'm pretty sure I briefly touched on this in my or uh, Orwell is Right uh, Red Eye Raw from forever ago. A few years ago at this point. But the point I'm trying to make, uh, for instance, uh, the word racism. Racism means discrimination based on race. However, the term racism was made up uh, during the civil rights movement to be used as a tool. Uh, no one really thought of it as a thing at the time, like the civil rights movement is a whole thing. I've talked about it before. There's a lot of things that were very similar to now, where there were people who would uh, press a false narrative and uh, try to twist things and stuff. And obviously, there's nuance and stuff that's lost now because history is written by the winners, right? But if we look back, the culture wars that we have today have been going on forever. It's just that they take different forms. But with the word racism, despite that, the meaning that most people have come to understand it and most people still use to this day is discrimination based on race. However, there's a subgroup of people, particularly on the left, that want to make the term strictly prejudice plus power to make it so that you can invalidate any racism carried out by a minority. This is a terrible thing because it's a way that words are used to be manipulated. Uh, the way that rhetoric changes the usage of words makes it so people can say one thing and mean another thing. And when one group hears it, they'll hear one thing, whereas another group will hear it and hear a completely different thing. And this is by design. It is absolutely intentional. Racism is obviously one that's pretty commonly known the way that it's misused and changed. Uh, but uh, the problem is, is the way it's changed, because it is changed in a way that is meant to fit a specific agenda. I have other words and things that have changed that I have my own gripes with. For instance, the term conspiracy has become conflated with the term conspiracy theory. It's to the point that I think a lot of people forget that conspiracy is a charge, a crime you can actually be charged with, conspiring against someone, getting a group to plot and scheme against someone. It doesn't just mean a conspiracy theory. A conspiracy theory is a theory of a conspiracy, typically of a government nature. However, there are conspiracy theories about celebrities, corporations, what have you. And obviously there's plenty of conspiracy theories that are also true, but the term also has a negative connotation. Uh, so because the way conspiracy is used to mean conspiracy theory muddies the water so that anytime someone hears the word conspiracy, their brain is gonna tell them it's either loopy or they're just going to think it's a theory. A lot of people have come around to conspiracy theories in recent times. There's plenty of things that are a lot more openly questioned than they used to be. JFK, 9-11, for instance. You know, they say the difference between a conspiracy theory and reality is six months, right? But uh, this, is a, this is a problem because, uh, you know, when people hear that word, they're not going to think of the actual crime that's being committed. They're going to think of theorizing. It's like when people use the term conspiratorial to mean, you know, as in you're putting on like the tinfoil hat, right? It's again by design to confuse and cause issues. But another problem people have with words is that uh, they don't understand the origin of words. And again, that rhetoric and the change, the way the words change over time has been an issue forever. For instance, when you hear a commie use the term bourgeoisie or bougie or bourgeois, right? They are using this to mean the rich. That's not what Marx meant when he said it. Marx meant the middle class. So a lot of these people don't realize they're the people that Marx hated. They're supporting him when he is exactly the type of people they'd hate. Because typically, it's middle class white people who, who become communists. Again, communists are fucking retarded for multiple reasons. Because communism is an ideology that is based solely on jealousy, doesn't work, 
and is ultimately stealing, but justifying it by saying, well, I voted for it, so it's okay to steal. That's what communism comes down to in a nutshell. It's a horrible thing. I mean, I think most people other than commies themselves know this, uh, although I think that there's very little distinction between communism and socialism. It's just communists are more honest than socialists, but that's a whole other thing. But then you get to words like fascist, which get, which get, which get used uh, like, no, like no tomorrow, right? People just throw it out like candy. Uh, and uh, especially, again, especially on the left, but there's people on the right I've heard use it too. Uh, for instance, one guy that I had drama with loves to throw that term around. Uh, it's a guy that I'm not making a video on right now because I ended that saga for now. I think you know who I'm talking about, <coughs> Captain Hardluck. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, he, he loved to throw that word around like candy, uh, which is funny because uh, given all of his other beliefs, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But uh, this video is not about that. I'm not going to go back into that drama. Like I said, I've ended that part of the drama, but that, that is an example I will give. There's uh, plenty of people that throw around fascist to the point where it has no fucking meaning, whereas fascism uh, was literally, you know, correlation between the government and corporations uh, to control the economy that way, right? Fascism is the juxtaposition of the two, corporation and government. But of course, the term obviously is used basically by the left to just mean anyone they don't like, just like they misuse the term Nazi all the time. Uh, and uh, they completely misinterpret what it means just because they're like, I don't like that guy, therefore he's a Nazi. Like, these are common enough terms. These are things everybody kind of already fucking knows, that these things are uh, misused. And look, obviously I'm not immune to colloquialisms. Again, I think fleshing out what the hell someone is saying to you is more important than understanding the history of the words, although I think both can be important depending on the context. But it's much better to argue what they're talking about in the moment than to argue what you... Th like, to try and give them an English lesson, right? Like, I mean, you can kind of do both, but at the same time, when you just get down to arguing semantics, you're not actually arguing substance, which, you know, was the whole point of that video, Semantics versus Substance, that I did. Words are important, despite that, obviously. Like I said, semantics, I think, is stupid because you're not arguing real points at that point. But words are still important, and it's important to understand the way that uh, language and rhetoric is misused deliberately to either A completely change the conversation and shift it to a completely different subject, B, brand the person you're talking against as stay, as uh, advocating for something that they don't advocate, or C, confusing the hell out of people so that they don't even know what they're fucking advocating. Not to mention, obviously, on a lighter note, with, like, modern slang, I hate a lot of it. Like, I think brain rot is an actual, like, accurate way to describe it because people just sound more and more retarded every day, too. But obviously another problem you run into is the concept of slurs, right? Uh, slurs are words that people often get really offended by and give far more power than they deserve, right? If I say nigger, some people will start chimping out. Hell, the fact that I use the phrase chimping out would probably be a connotation to some people. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you say retard, more people are okay with it, but there is, you know, a lot of people who also don't like it. Faggot is kind of in the middle. It's, uh, it's one that a lot of people don't like, but there are some that, uh, are fine with. Point is, a lot of people assign these words this power, right? They give it this weight to make it seem like it's the worst thing you can do, which is just absurd. Uh, so there's been some autismos that uh, Corbin and I have been messing with a little bit on uh, Discord. Uh, and we're in another Discord server where there's a bunch of them there. And uh, another guy in the server asked one of them if he thought that the N-word was worse than pedophilia, and he said yes. Now granted, these are autistic people that really don't understand the gravity of it, and they say both of these things are bad, but they're, they're, they're just like, they hear these things are bad, and the, they, don't, they don't understand just how fucking dangerous that is to say, because it's going to give people a conception about them. It's funny as hell from an outside perspective, but I feel bad for these fucking idiot retards who say these fucking crazy things, not realizing just how fucking crazy and stupid they sound. And that's another thing, right? This isn't exactly words, but it's the usage of words as a weapon, where you get a bunch of people getting false allegations against them, cancellations and Me Too stuff, right? Where you get, like, uh, allegations of sexual misconduct in the case where there isn't any. That's another recurring issue in today's day and age. The popular thing to do when you don't like someone now is to call them a pedophile or a rapist or some other variation, right? I don't like that that's the case because, again, these are very serious allegations that are just thrown around and devalued as well to the point where no one's going to take any of this seriously. Um, and it also ruins people's lives because the ones that do take it seriously take it seriously in every fucking case, even when there's literally nothing to it. 
That's the reason you don't really hear me talk about a lot of ongoing cases and stuff, because I don't really like to jump to conclusions until I actually know it. Uh, so there is a lot of shit like that out there. And there's definitely a lot of fucking sex pests out there and a lot of freaks, don't get me wrong. But it is also kind of scary that the popular thing, if you don't like someone in this day and age, is to try and brand them as something horrible like that. But I'm going to do another random thoughts later on, talking about information and the way it's misused. that will kind of build on some of the point I'm going to make here. But you will get, like, you know, narratives and stuff that twist things or take a quote out of context or try to brand someone as something they're not. For instance, uh, Donald Trump gets this the worst, obviously. Uh, the very fine people hoax where people will try and brand him as a racist and all this stuff uh, because of a quote that they remove part of and then take out of context because they're fucking disingenuous pieces of shit. And uh, this misinformation is also a term that gets thrown around a lot. Again, we'll get more into this in the follow-up video that I plan to do on information and misinformation and the intentional confusion that's caused. But suffice to say, information is controlled, right? And what's called misinformation is only called the misinformation by those who it's convenient to call misinformation. That's basically the long and short of what I'm going to talk about in a future video. But, as I said, words are often misused. They're used as a way to dismiss someone's points because of the terms they're using. They're used as a way to twist someone's points into saying something they're not by giving different definitions to the terms they're using. And they're used as a weapon to just brand people in horrible, horrible ways. So Language is a scary and ever-changing thing, uh, and words are important. And uh, that is part of a culture war, right, is controlling language. And so, like I said, there is an overlap with the concept of newspeak from 1984, right? The way that terms are used now are far different than the way that they were used before. But that's all I really have to say. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Toodles. Words are like bullets, and I let them pass right through me. You keep using the word. I do not think it means what you think it means. You take forever to say nothing. Subscribe. The fidgety red eye.